Assalamualaikum. My name is Imran Mohamed. I'm an IT manager. My question is regarding the media and conspiracy theories. Um, how should the Muslim respond to conspiracy theories such as America is trying to take over the world, take, suppressing Islam, etc., etc.? All too often I'm finding Muslims uh, who are not educated in Islam correctly dive into the conspiracy theories more than the, the knowledge that we should be acquiring. How should the Muslim respond to the see conspiracy theories? The brother has asked the question that how should a Muslim respond to the conspiracy theory by the Americans, etc., against Islam, and we don't have our own knowledge, what should we do? Brother, the first thing we should do is we should know our deen. Unfortunately, most of the Muslims do not know their own religion. That's the reason we have this problem. If we know deen very well, this media would not have a chance to say what it's saying. Unfortunately, we ourselves don't know our deen. And that's the reason when the media says many things, we Muslims become apologetic, we tend to agree. I'll just give you an example. There was a very good pious Muslim, mashallah. He comes and tells me, but this Hakir, do you know these Talibans, they are very ruthless people, bad people. I said, why? What happened? Because they beat the woman. I said, who told you? I saw it with my own eyes. Where did you see it? He saw it on BBC. <laughs> see, I am not here to defend the Taliban. They are not my friends, neither are they my enemies. I haven't met them. I am not to defend them. But when I keep on traveling, I meet people. I was in Malaysia giving a talk. And there was a couple. Both of them were doctors. They were the gynecologist and a pediatrician. Both of them were doctors. They spent more than a month in Afghanistan trying to help the injured people. And that lady doctor, she told me, the shot they show on the television, a Taliban hitting the woman. They aren't Taliban. I said, how do you know? I said, see, because I've been with the Taliban's. I know how they tie the turban. For example, we as non-Arabs, we will not find a difference between the way the Ghatra is tied of the Arabs. But Arab knows that the way an Emirati ties a Ghatra is different. The way a Saudi ties a Ghatra is different. The way a Kuwaiti ties is different. They know, we don't know. So she being with Taliban, she knows that the way the turban is tied in that shot, it can't be a Taliban. So even the shooting they did in Hollywood, where they did, I don't know. They didn't do a good job. the media can change anything. For example, if I ask you that how is George Bush? Is he good or bad? You will say he's not good. For example, I will chop off the knot and it will sound George Bush is good. When I show you your own recording, you say, oh, by slip of the tongue, I said he's good. Actually, you didn't say that. You said he's not good. I chopped off the knot. I show you, see, this is brother. You have said he's good. So you will say, okay, it was slip of the, it wasn't slip of the tongue. You wanted to say he's not good. I chopped off the knot and it sounds like he's good. So this is the media plays game. So we as Muslims, what we should do, that we should know our religion very well. We should know our deen very well. And when anyone replies, we should not be swayed by how they portray Islam. And to judge Islam, we should go to the authentic sources, the Quran and the Sai Hadith. We should not look at what Muslims do or what the Muslim society does. To judge Islam, I'm not going to judge Islam by what the people in India are doing or Pakistan or Taliban or Saudi. I'm going to judge Islam based on authentic sources, the Quran and the Sai Hadith. So this strategy we use. And when the media portrays something, we should know how to turn the tables over. See, now the person won't ask two questions. He only asks one question. Why? Because my first answer only was a thing he didn't expect. He didn't expect me to say that I'm proud of my country. He thought I will say I'm not proud of my country. I'm really proud of my country. Not that I'm telling a lie. I'm proud of India. And that is a battlefield where a mujahid, jihad, jihad means striving. You know, by my name, Nayak, in Sanskrit, Nayak means a warrior, a hero. So by name, I'm a Mujahid. <laughs> I have to be in the battlefield. I have to do my job. Therefore, I want to live in Bombay. People said, come here, come there. People are giving me, they're giving me offers to stay in different countries. Your life is in danger. I have to be in the battlefield. 
that's my battlefield and love my country for many reasons for many reasons alhamdulillah and i'm proud of that so therefore a muslim should be trained in the media when they reply to turn the tables over hope that answers the question jazakallah